We finally made it. Well, if it ain't the Blazing Sword and his merry crew. Mahavar? I can't believe you're still alive. Of course I am. If you landlubbers can make it out of that sinking ship alive, ain't no reason an old sea dog like me wouldn't, too. Yeah, but that wave hit hard. I'm glad to see you're okay. Sorry we put you in so much danger back there. All water under the bridge at this point. You helped make one of my life's dreams come true. The ship, on the other hand, she took a bit of a beating, though, I'll admit. Really? What happened to it? It looks fine to me on the outside. She's fine now, but she was in rough shape when I made it back here. Engine chamber gave up the ghost. Without a lot of options, I decided to talk to the head honcho of the Dark Wings and see if he could help at all. And wouldn't you know it, Crazy Fool sent over Renan engineers to help. Can you believe it? Renan? Yep. Said they came from Menencia. They were real professionals. Did what they needed to and didn't give me guff or anything. I was damn near floored. So they did the work themselves. Good on them. Well, they did a bang-up job, because she's better than ever now. Speaking of which, I take it she's why you're here? Yes. We need to get out on the ocean, and fast. When can we set sail? Give the man a minute to think it over, Alfin. He hasn't even said yes yet. It's all right, little lady. I'm a man of the sea. I'll gladly help. Hop aboard, folks. This thing already looked plenty huge from afar. Seeing it up close makes it really hit home. I didn't expect the journey to go so smoothly. I figured the Renans would send something to sink us. Maybe they didn't think we had the nerve to come. Somehow I kind of doubt that. It's entirely possible they don't see us as a threat. What do you mean? That they think they're beyond our reach. Still, this structure is quite the unusual sight. Truth be told, never seen anything like it. You're right. It doesn't look like the buildings on Lenegas at all. Or like any Renan structure for that matter. It's weird. It doesn't feel like the kind of thing that has people inside either. Yeah, it's definitely something creepy. What the hell is it even made of? I don't know. 
It's not mechanical or biological, but it's definitely alive in some way. <sighs> Shion? I'm okay. It's nothing. Well, what do we do now? We have to stop this thing from siphoning off all of Dana's astral energy. That means finding the core and smashing it to bits. Okay, but look at the size of it. I don't know if we'll find the core just wandering around. Good point. Can anyone get a read on the astral energy around us? Any kind of a sign? There's a rather enormous flow of energy moving directly upwards. If we wish to follow it, we'll have to do some climbing. Well? Over there? Hey, what's up with you? Huh? I, I... You okay? What happened? I'm not sure. When I was reaching out to the astral energy, I thought I heard... a voice. A voice? Yeah. I couldn't make out any words, but it sounded like it wanted me to come to it. This seems like a trap, right? It's not a trap! How can you tell? Listen, I don't know why, but when it spoke to me, I knew it wasn't hostile. What do you think? It could well be a trap. However... It's also our only real option, short of wandering aimlessly about. Let's trust Rinwell on this. <sighs> you sure? Yeah. Eh, it beats the alternative, I guess. <laughs> what did I say? Sheesh, it's like walking on eggshells around here. Sometimes you have to choose your words more carefully, Law. Huh? Oh, uh, right. Stay sharp. We're going in.
I see that the interior of the wedge is every bit as strange and unusual as the exterior. Intriguing. If I didn't see it come from Lenegas, I wouldn't believe it was Renan. Just what's with this place? Yeah, it's all twisty and lumpy. Whatever it's all for, I'm stumped. via threat elimination. Hold up! Is this as valuable as I think it is? We got some good equipment! I can't say its appearance is to my tastes, personally. I'm hurt and dirty. Wanna try holding it? Ugh. How do you even walk with this thing? Seriously? Is this a joke? Uh, you are in as soon as I'm done here, I'll help out. How could a girl ever say no? As impressive as always. Ah. No, I I Divide mean you're even better than ever. Nice. No scratches on my shield or my armor. This is all Dana's astral energy. Are you saying the Renans are funneling it through here to send to Lenigus? Sure looks like it. We have to put a stop to it. Quickly. Nice. No scratches on my shield or my armor. Like it should be among creatures you'd find in a forest. Cut it out! I don't need to hear that! It's gotta be man-made, right? Were it so, it would not be any easier to predict. Remain vigilant. <laughs> Of the crash. Swallow 
You mine if you like. That would be really awesome, Xion. Sometimes I wonder where you come up with those moves. I could say the same to you. <laughs> Good thing we're on the same side, huh? Right, here it goes! Like right. moth to the flame! We did it! My turn! I can shatter any steel! Hurricane Spike! We're in good form! Now I'm hurt and dirty. This equipment is really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. Out of our way! We just need to make sure we stay there. Right. And without totally overdoing it. Let's dispose of the trash. Blue away! Gone. You're finished! Here. Blue away! Right. 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 Come not come right. one, come on! We managed to turn the tide! For right. now. But things could shift in a moment. You're right. Better stay alert. I still got a ways to go. decent equipment anything that makes battles easier is okay by me Take 
Let's keep our eyes on the prize. This place definitely isn't easy to navigate, that's for sure. And I doubt this structure was conceived with the ease of people's movement in mind. Yeah, we've been seeing nothing but Zoogle nests. It's almost as if we're inside an incredibly immense spirit vessel of some sort. A spirit vessel? If that's the case, then that would make Lenigus the master core that's receiving all the astral energy. Hey, have you heard that voice again since we came in here? Oh, so now you believe me. I never said I didn't believe you. <sighs> the further in we go, the stronger the voice gets. Is that a sign we're going the right way, then? Where's this voice coming from? Can you tell? Yeah, kind of. I hear it inside me, but I feel like it's also coming from every direction around us. It's hard to describe. It's almost like it's surrounding me. Surrounding, huh? Considering astral energy is involved, it's not that unusual. Right, but it's not scary or anything. Listening to it is really soothing. If you think so, just promise you'll say something if the voice gets too... clingy or anything. I promise. Break a sweat. climbed up a long way, haven't we? Watch your step ahead. With no fencing in place, it would be quite hazardous to fall. Burning Blue away! Blue escape! 
Sometimes I wonder where you come up with those moves. I could say the same to you. <laughs> Good thing we're on the same side, huh? something to eat. to make sure we stay there. Right. And without help... That equipment should come in handy.
You can run away! Free Lancer! Hurricane the Lion! Dragon Swarm! I think we can get through this. Don't let up until it's over. Do it! Who said anything about letting? Looks like we came out on top. We just need to make sure we stay there. Right. And without totally overdoing it. come in handy when crafting weapons.
here? It's here? <sighs> yes. All the energy flowing through the wedge comes together and collects here. Is that thing a Zoogle? Holy crap, it's huge! A central core and a guardian? Once we beat that thing, it'll stop the wedge from taking in any more astral energy, right? It seems we're in for a fight regardless. Here it comes. Stay sharp, everyone! Is there no end to what the Renans can cook up? I don't know if that's machine or what, but I do know it's pissing me off! Watch yourself. There is no knowing what it is capable of. Any other wisdom you want to pass along? One more! We've turned the tables on him! There are still more left! Right! No time to hold back! Here I come! Force Black! No escape! Force Black! It's over! Yeah. Your aunts are really incredible. It's thanks to you I can use them. Well, I promise I'll always be here. You. you fight better at a distance. Huh? This one's got your name on it! Action to action! sure I'd call it a voice, but it was there. What in the world just happened? That was Dana's astral energy we just encountered. And I think what we heard... Might have been its voice? You're saying astral energy has a mind of its own? I haven't the slightest idea. But do you remember what happened when we fought Balsef back in Calaglia? You mean when that fire monster came out of the spirit vessel? Exactly. 
There was such a huge overflow of astral energy, it caused a monster to spawn and take physical form. Maybe the same thing happened here, just with way more astral energy and a bigger monster. Does that mean if you gather enough astral energy, it can become sentient or take a physical form? That's what I'm guessing, but it's just speculation. Master cores are able to hold a lot more energy than a spirit vessel, but we still haven't seen anything like that happen in our dealings with them. That being said, there may be a mechanism of sorts inside master cores and spirit vessels that prevents such reactions. That fire monster. I remember how it only appeared after Balsef's spirit vessel broke. Then the reason Rinwell was able to sense all that astral energy earlier must have been because it was too much for that Zoogle to contain by itself. So, then where do you think the Zoogle went? All that energy and poof, it's gone. The Zoogle with it. Doesn't that sound weird to anyone? Indeed it does. However, in order for us to move our hypothesis forward, we will need to gather more evidence first. On that note, how are you holding up, Rinwell? I just can't work out why. Why the voice reached out to me first. Rinwell? I can't help but wonder if it's because of my heritage that I was the one to hear it. S sorry that's a strange thing to think, isn't it? Anyway, we should get going, right? We need to make sure the energy flow has actually stopped. Are we gonna have to take this winding path all the way back down, too? Yeah, but if anything, it should be easier than the climb up. Really? Well then. Actually, I've heard it's easier to develop muscle aches when going down. Seriously? Great, now I'm hurt and dirty. Everything all right? It kind of looked like you wanted to get something off your chest. Uh-huh. Oh, um... Or not, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know... Yeah? Sorry, never mind. Just forget it. <sighs> You want to try being a little less cryptic, maybe? Yeah, all right, all right, geez. Sorry for taking an interest. Stop it. It's okay, Hoodle. Sorry. I guess I still don't really know how to put it into words. Nah, that's fine. No rush. It might help you to talk about it, though. I'll keep that in mind. And thanks. No ordinary enemy I see over there. Don't get careless! Don't tell me! That's an interesting stance. It's part of the Renin style. A style made of both sides. You're spicier than you look. Can't change the future without getting your hands dirty. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood.
<laughs> Great, now I'm hurt and dirty. Scratches on my shield or my armor. It looks like that beam of light has stopped. Then is it safe to say we've avoided oblivion for the time being? I can still sense a faint glimmer of energy, though. It hasn't completely dispersed. You can tell? Rinwell, your senses seem a lot sharper than before, don't they? And you said you heard that voice, right? I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I don't feel bad, though. If trace amounts, however small, do remain, then it leaves us no choice. We must destroy the entire structure. What do you suggest? We bring it down piece by piece? Once that's done, what do we do then? <laughs> we go to Lenigus. <sighs> Even if we could destroy the whole wedge like he suggested, It'd only buy us time. The fact they sent this thing down tells me they're not giving up this planet without a fight. There's also the matter of the Renis Alma. Its circumstances still have yet to be truly resolved. But how do we even get to Lenigus? What if we hotwire one of their starships? There's got to be one on the planet somewhere, right? Starships are only seen on Dana at the start and end of the Crown Contest. Otherwise, they remain on Lenigus. Believe it or not, we Renans down here aren't quite as free to come and go as one might think. Great. Well, I'm out of ideas then. We definitely don't have the tech to build a starship. And even if we found a Renan who'd help, who knows how long that'd take. Yeah. Waiting for a starship to come down from Lenigus would probably be quicker than that. Wait! Alfin, when you came down from Lenigus, it had to have been in a starship of your own, right? Right. Oh, of course. You can't be serious. That was 300 years ago. There's no way it's still gonna work. But Alfin didn't wake up until a few years ago. That means it had to have still been functioning that whole time to keep his body preserved. Indeed. You wouldn't happen to remember where you landed, would you? My memories around where I parked are still a little hazy. But I do know that I woke up in Calaglia. So chances are it's still in the area. At least it's a place to start. Luckily, that realm's my old stomping ground. So I should be able to get us some help finding her. <sighs> This is it. Yeah. As long as Lenigus stands there, there's no avoiding it. So what's this help in Calaglia you're planning to enlist? My buddy Nath. If anyone there knows something, I figure it's him. 
But first, we need to catch a boat and get back to the mainland. Our first port of call is Ulzebek. Back where you first started out. Yeah, along with my dad. <sighs> you okay? You don't look so good. <sighs> I think I'm just a little seasick, that's all. Liar. Huh? You heard me. You've never been good at hiding your emotions, Xion. Excuse me? Just what do you... <sighs> no. You're right. I'm sorry. Is it about Alfin? No. Not just him. Something you can't talk about? Rinwell, I'm... I'm not like the rest of you. Of course you are! <sighs> no, I'm serious. Back when we first met, I think maybe then I did think we were different. But now I know that isn't true. You and I are the same, Xion. We're alike in more ways than you know. <laughs> if any of us is different, it's me. I'm a Danon who can use magic. I may be the last. My family and I have been living in hiding as long as I can remember. Everyone has their own pain that can be hard for other people to understand. I saw the two of you talking and thought you could use a third wheel. So, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. If anyone's the odd one out here, it's me. Believe me, you don't want to listen to my problems. Want me to go? I didn't say that. I get that you must have a lot circling around that head of yours. And that's okay. Whatever's worrying you right now, you're allowed to worry about it. And you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I know I'm not a Renin like you, or a mage like Rinwell. I'm not a sovereign, maiden, or lord. I'm just a Danon who used to be a slave. But regardless of all that, I'm here for you, Xion. That goes for me, too. We all want to be there for you. Me and Hoodle and even the boys. I promise. I mean, that is what friends are supposed to do, right? <laughs> I said this to Alfin, and now I'll say it to you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. Renwell. Kisara. And right on cue, I think I should make my way back and lie down for a bit. <laughs> My battle with this ship continues. Ooh. Yeah, I better head back too. We wouldn't want the guys thinking they're in charge. Can you imagine Law at the helm? Who knows what kind of trouble we'd get into. Still, if that's true, and it's all the more reason I have to do this. I think it's safe to rest here now. Uh, all right, something is definitely up with Xion. Yeah. Something big by the looks of it. I've never seen her so serious. So... 
Do you think we should say something to Alfin then? I was wondering the same thing myself, but then it occurred to me. Hmm? Whatever this thing on her mind is, it's probably the last thing in the world she wants people to know about. <sighs> if she's trying this hard to keep it secret, then it's not really our place to go telling people before she's ready. Yeah. I can't tell them. There's... There's just no way I could, right? I... <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Finally, if only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Look lively! Hoodle and I are raring to go! Isn't it past your bedtime? Says the guy who can't stop yawning. That turned out good, if I do say so myself. Don't leave me. Care if I hang out for a while? Another fine day for journeying, huh? 
Tell me, do you ever find yourself tiring of the Vagabond existence? It's better than being enslaved, that's for sure. I get to pick my own destination, for starters. You don't get those luxuries as a slave. Shackle a man's feet, and you put a clamp on his heart as well. Then there was the food. Gross slop that left you in a permanent state of hunger. Ugh, you wouldn't believe the things I ate to keep from starving. What about you? This must all sound pretty alien to someone who used to be a lord. Is that a hint of interest in my past I detect? I guess that's one way to put it. Well, certainly starvation was never a concern I had to contend with. The day-to-day -day grind was largely taken care of for me. I even had help getting in and out of clothes. All that was required of me was standing still while looking solemn. That's quite the downgrade you've made. It's a wonder you don't sound more bitter. This might surprise you, but I actually don't find our current situation all that disagreeable. My own hardships paled in comparison to yours, granted. But life as a lord came laden with its own restrictions. Forgive me. Such complaints must sound like feeble extravagances to a Danon. True, Ren and Opulence doesn't feature high on my sympathy list. Then again, yours isn't exactly a normal case. I suppose it's not. Sometimes, I can't help but wonder how much easier life would have been without the trappings of nobility. You really mean that? Pay me no heed. Not but the ramblings of a privileged eccentric. Whatever my past, it has led to my being here. That is all the reality I need concern myself with. I do believe it's about time that I retire. Shall we get moving? Oh! Y you know, don't you think we're running a little low on food? I guess we are. Looks like there's a place to fish over there. Oh! Oh, what do you know? I'll go catch us some dinner. You could have just said you wanted to fish. You're still not done fishing yet? Boring. You need patience to fish. <clears throat> But I'm not gonna quit now. Are we going to be able to finish all that? <clears throat> there we go. got a good size to her, all told. That fish put up a fight. Good catch!
Reel it in. Well, that wasn't much of a challenge. Nice! You caught it! I'll catch something bigger next time. You take your fishing pretty seriously. Thank you. 